Good morning. Good morning. Is it morning? Two minutes to morning. It is 11.58 on Tuesday. I actually want to start this after two, so I'm going to flip it around so you all can see it easier. Notice all the pinky right here. Pink is for cardinal signs. This is cardinal air. We're talking about Libra, Moon, Sun, Mars, all in the Kazemi. That's uh, astrology slang for conjunct or combust. And Mercury's in Libra too. And a lot of the planets are on the collective side of the chart here. With the only two being in the North Node and Uranus on the individual side. Let's get into this really quick. Happy new moon in Libra and how new this is about to be. Okay, so I have some things here right on the ground because I am actually starting a whole new, you know. New moons mean that the sun and the moon and when I taught astrology uh, today in homeschooling, I, I wanted to look this up and I should have even before I started this, but here again, got a lot going on. Long story short, we were talking about this Kazemi and why we have, I picked a, like this was about six o'clock this afternoon, this evening. It is now Wednesday, the sixth, which is when this new moon is actually happening. But we had this Kazemi earlier today, um, where all the sun, the moon, and an inner planet, Mars, are all the same degree. They're all in a Libra degree as well as a cardinal degree, meaning they're starting something, starting things new, is what happens when the moon is joining the sun in the same sign. When the moon is opposite the sun in two weeks, when we have a full moon in Aries, it'll be opposite. New moon means it's right there with it. It's conjunct. We have all the personal planets except Venus. All the personal, individual, inner planets are in Libra. I don't know where the ascendant is right now. So like your big three is the sun, moon, and your ascendant. Um, I'll put it up here when I'm editing this, but all of them are in the two relationship signs. Let's just take a notice of that, too. Because Venus in Scorpio at 28 degrees, so this is getting ready to change, too. And I talked about this with my daughter. I said, how many degrees are there? She says 29. I said, so which one of these planets is getting ready to switch signs? And she told me Venus. So that was good, but... Um, and I'll try to do, when we talk about astrology again on Thursday, a little video on how she's learning this. Because this is kind of important, y'all. I talked about this in the um, weekly that I just put out this morning about this Kazemi. And as the day progressed, I'm seeing, especially with Mercury in retrograde, and I had my daughter write down, and maybe I'll take a picture of her journal, what all these mean. And how in Libra, and I explained to her because she's a cancer, cardinal water, how Libra is cardinal air. And um, my weekly is called air because there's so much air energy. There's a lot of cardinal energy, air energy. There's a lot of fixed air energy. Okay. I'm talking slow because I'm really trying to think about what I'm saying with this murky and retrograde. I don't want to stumble over myself and I really want to be understood <laughs> with Mark, with Venus still in Scorpio. Done enough talking about Venus and Scorpio. Can't wait till it moves on Thursday in the Sagittarius. But nonetheless, these four placements right here are super important because anytime we're in a new moon, there's new things happening. Anytime Mars is making an aspect, something is happening. 
a conjunction is blended energy. So just blending how we take action with our emotions and how we express ourselves overall. So I had Zane do a little excerpt on how she feels on it's being specifically about what action she's taking over her emotions and expressing herself better in a Libra kind of way. So we discussed how Libra is about being fair and diplomatic and, you know, um, having balance and harmony. So I gave her an example. I even put Mercury in there, even though it's not conjunct, it's not in the Kavimi. But Mercury, I told her, you know, it is what we are learning. And especially in retrograde, it's what we need to learn. Our life lessons. We need to learn about communicating better in a more balanced way. We need to take action in a more balanced way. We need to get together our emotions and how we react in a more fair and harmonizing, balanced way. And how we express ourselves overall. Over all these things. Okay? So, specifically an example. Mars conjunct the moon and the sun. I need to take action. And I'm starting outward moving in. I need to take action on how I react to people I've had relationships with. Exact, uh, for example, my mother or my ex-husband. In court. <laughs> and express firmly what I mean. But in a harmonizing and fair way. And learning how to communicate with them better, listening better, and being heard better. Hopefully that made sense with you all right there. The new moon in Libra has a lot to do with all the things the moon is going to pass until it gets down to Aries in two weeks for the full moon. The new moon in Libra is my son's moon. He was born on a Libra new moon on October 21st, 2006. His birthday is coming up as well. My son also has the sun in Libra, the moon in Libra, Mercury in Libra, and Venus in Libra, I believe. And has Mars in Scorpio. <laughs> my son. Love you, DJ, Donnell Jr. Now, I feel like while we are stepping into some newness with this new moon, it's going to be about relationships. Especially when all these move into Scorpio. But when the moon moves into Scorpio on Thursday night, we're going to be learning more about how to deal with the deepest, darkest parts of our relationships. Then when the moon moves in the square, I mean, it's Sagittarius, it'll be more intense about how we are communicating about those relationships. Because the new moon kind of lasts 10 days before it phases out right before the full moon, right? So we're balancing those ways to get our intense emotions across about relationships. The moon, when it moves in the Sagittarius, it'll sextile the new moon, meaning it'll, it'll, be compatible to what the new moon was trying to say. Work things out in balance. Things are going to work out. And the Sagittarius moon will be a little bit more, a, you'll find a more fun way to work it out, especially than you did in Scorpio. Okay. When it moves into Capricorn, which is my moon, it'll be more specific on how you um, are reacting to how people take your authority or authority you take from others. Still with that balancing aspect. When it's in Aquarius, it'll bring all that air energy back together. The moon will conjunct with the two planets, Saturn and Jupiter. Um, I need to tie in this too because Saturn on Sunday will be leaving retrograde and going direct. Pluto goes direct today on the 6th with the new moon. Squaring the new moon because they're both in cardinal signs. Cardinal Earth, Cardinal Air. Um, and the moon moves into 24 degrees 
it'll be squaring Pluto, which is tomorrow, later today, after the new moon. Okay. Um, the new moon is in 14 degrees, so later tonight it'll be the new moon. I'm not sure at the exact time, but overnight. Um, when the moon is in Capricorn, conjunct with Pluto, in now direct. So I'll take this retrograde sign off soon. Probably tomorrow morning. Um, that's going to be significant because Pluto is now direct. All the things that we were learning about transforming ourselves and building new things and changing <laughs> are going to affect our emotions tomorrow and in a few days when the moon is in the Capricorn. The moon opposite its home in Cancer is going to have big effects on how we transform. How we control our emotions, but not in such an emotionless way. Um, I'm going to stop there because Aquarius moon always gets me. It's kind of um, a weird moon and it's hard to describe for me. <laughs> The Pisces moon, of course, is the, the endings. The endings before we have another new beginning with the full moon, okay? Um, this is the waxing moon, so it's building up to some energy in two weeks. Once it passes the new moon, it's building up all these emotions, intense emotions, fun, free, um, expansive emotions, Emotions about our reputation and then authority and reality. Weirdness, y'all. Please help me with this. I'm still studying. There's a whole lot of study in astrology and each sign doesn't have one characteristic. It has like a hundred. So I would say the full moon, I mean the moon in Aquarius is more like uh, just touch it, tapping into your uniqueness and then having that uniqueness in your emotions branch out to whoever you want to give that energy to and will receive it as far as social groups. Also being a little rebellious. It would be interesting to see how, um, you know, this air, this fixed air energy will happen as we build up to the, the full moon. <clears throat> but anyway, the other thing I wanted to say, other than, again, Pluto is coming out of retrograde tomorrow. Once it goes direct, we'll be moving again towards that Pluto return in four months. <clears throat> four and a half months. Maybe five. <laughs> mid uh, February. Mid to late February. So as it moves direct, more changes are coming, especially with all things Capricorn, authority figures, father figures, masculine figures, um, restriction and all that especially a lot is happening with the south node please check out my south node in Sagittarius video where we're dropping our beliefs especially about the Pluto return we've learned a lot of things and they're not fitting anymore and as Pluto changes things we have to let go of some things too okay these two right here Saturn, when it, once it goes direct on Sunday, 10-10, which is Sunday, um, it'll get toward moving towards Pisces, but then um, it moves so slow still, it won't catch up with Jupiter. Jupiter will be back in Pisces by January, or the end of December, actually. Jupiter's retrograde ends the same day Mercury's retrograde ends which is the 18th. So a lot of endings and new beginnings this month. Once we get back in direct motion, a lot of things that were holding us back, slowing us down, things we had to learn, things we had to redo, will finally get in motion. So like all the clarity you want, all the justice you want, the uh, depth of relationships you want, um, the, the, the freedom you want, the restriction changes, changes of restrictions you want are going to start moving into place. Uh, with Venus, Venus goes into retrograde once it gets to Capricorn and then it conjuncts with Pluto too. So we're talking about our desires 
are going to be transformed. Big deal happening, y'all. Big deal. <laughs> Neptune down here is still in retrograde. Neptune's retrograde ends, I can't remember. I think it's December. I think that's the only one that's going to still be retrograde. Or Uranus between Neptune and Uranus because they're all in, still in retrograde too. Okay. What I wanted to say about this whole collective side, the collective side meaning everything from Libra to Pisces has to do with the collective as a whole. Everything from Aries to Virgo has to do with individual self. This is where you're understanding yourself. This is where you're stepping into your self uh, realization with Aries, your ego. Taurus is your security and your finances. Um, Gemini has to do with duality and masculine and feminine energies. Uh, and information, communication, how we learn. Cancer has to do with the home, how we nurture ourselves and others. Leo has to do with how we express ourselves, our bravery. And then Virgo has to do with how we service ourselves first and then others. And then you get into all these things that the relationship signs, Libra and Scorpio here. That's why this collective, because it deals with not just you, but others. Sagittarius deals with how we are in groups, but um, religious groups, philosophical groups, those kind of groups. Capricorn is um, the authority over others. So you see how all these things have to do with more than one person. Aquarius has to do with humanitarianism. Once you feel out how unique you are, you need to find a group that accepts your uniqueness. So you're not being a rebellious Aquarius all day because nobody accepts your uniqueness. Pisces has to deal with stepping all the way out of yourself and entering a world of spirits. An ending for a new beginning. Okay? Um, so what I was saying is the only planet over here is Uranus. And Uranus <laughs> is the new world. Okay? So... What I'm interpreting is that we have to go through all of these life lessons. I don't have the houses right either, y'all, so please excuse that. I forgot to change the houses before I did this, but we have to go through all these life lessons. This new thing we're stepping into with the new moon, there's a new cycle dealing with how we need to balance out everything. This new cycle is going to take us to dealing with our intense emotions and trust and all things Scorpio, okay? Like I said, it deals with all these things. And then when we come back, when these planets start moving back around, especially the uh, individual planets, they move quickly with the sun, okay? The inner planets, the planets closest to the sun. Once these move back over to the individual side, we will be a whole new collective. We will be a whole new collective, y'all. Okay? The South Node moves into Scorpio in July. I mean, in January. The North Node will be with Uranus. Developing our new path for this new world. It's a lot. <laughs> and the year, the calendar year is just pretty much over. <clears throat> but the Zodiac year is just halfway through. So by next spring, remember this, this message. Remember this episode on how Z told you that us as a collective are going to be in a whole new place as even individuals by next spring. And this full moon, I mean, this new moon tonight and the full moon in two weeks are going to set it off for the rest of the Zodiac year. Mark my words. All right, I am TMZ, teaching everyone abundantly empowering many is the key enlightening every day. This is Get a Life Astrology. Growing into divine adults and loving yourself forever. Please drop a comment down if you have any questions or comments. Please like, share, subscribe, and thank you for viewing. Peace.